<laughs> Aha! We have bees. Yes, see? The queen died, she turned into a princess, and I now have two drones. So, I am going to automate this a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a logistical sorter, and I'm going to take some pipes, and I am going... And it would have to be right here for the color. Yes. I'm going to say that's blue. That's green. Or, no, that's not that. That's green. Now. I should... No, I'm not going to be able to put those back in. Darn. I should be able to say Princess to Dark Green. That'll put her in there. I should be able to say Drones to Dark Blue. Gonna set that sack size to 1 in size, yes. I think we should always get more than one drone. But yeah, you see that put that in the slot. I realized I was being silly and overcomplicating things. I just need these things right up on here. Yeah, like this. Just one pipe. Have it on push. And right now I'm not doing any color sorting. I'll figure that out when I actually get some combs dropped. Anyway, I figured out why these two princesses in this hive and in this hive. Yes, you see? What? Why didn't you? Okay, I need to do color sorting after all. Anyway, I figured out why these two princesses would stack differently. Because this one is pristine and this one is ignoble. Yes. This means that every generation she has a chance to just not uh, generate a princess. So, she is a temporary princess. I'll disconnect this line. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm playing with the automation lines, and it's frustrating because it takes so long between each generation of testing. Anyway, this ignoble princess... Um, I'm just going to use her for the rune crafting for the thing that I'm breeding up these bees for. I don't think it should matter. Yeah, see? But there is a way in this pack to make ignoble princesses pristine. Normally there isn't, but there is a special Batania flower. Um, one of them. There's a couple of them. Let's see, there's... Begonias, which I think consume drones and turn them into mana. Uh, there's Hyvacinths, which I think those are the ones that turn a pris that turn an ignoble to a pristine. I'm not sure. Anyway, it doesn't particularly matter. So I need two sand, a cactus, earth, and air. Okay. Yep. See, that took very little mana, and now I have a modest hive. And it wants me to turn that to meadows, okay. <laughs> of course, meadows is probably the last one. It wants me to see the whole cycle. Uh, yep. You can see, yep, there's Meadows, and then it goes back to the start of the cycle, as most alchemy things do. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of hive types. Okay, making the Bealizer was a quest. Uh, wants me to make that Hivacinth. Yes. Oh. No, Hyvacinth doesn't dispose of bees. That's or no, it's the Begonia. And Hyvacinth doesn't do the pristine thing. Hyvacinth will just generate princesses, I think. 
Yeah. Okay. You know what? Just for a difference here. Since my only other pristine bee is this rocky princess, let's see if I can create the conditions for her. Okay, pristine stock. It's too hot. Hmm. Okay, let's try Magical Forest. That should be cooler. Yeah, I may need to separate these hives out by a bit, just because they're going to require different biomes. Hey, look at that! The meadows... Or, or, or these modest ones finally produced a comb. Yeah. You can see how rare that is for bees that you haven't bred specifically for it. It needs a higher productivity stat, and I think certain species of bees give more combs. Oh, our fish finally died. Yep. You see, they only gave a tiny amount of, of product. Mm. They gave their, their bodies. Got some dead fish. And they gave five thousand eggs. Yes. Yes, you get a lot of eggs. So I've got those, and it wants me to make a hatchery out of them, okay? The hatchery is actually the crappy way to hatch new fish. There's a better way, but it's for the quest. There we go, you just surround it with wicker. And that's a hatchery. And I believe that all we do with this is we put it in the water. And that should eventually hatch into fish that we take out of the hatchery and put into the feeder. Okay, so... That looks like actually the fish, que the, the fish quests are done. Eh. Maybe I'll show off the incubator. Maybe. Probably not. Because as far as I can tell, fish breeding ain't really good for any resources. There we go! Rocky Queen is rocking on. And, um, the flower she wants is just smooth stone, and there's probably some smooth stone underground a few squares, so she's okay with that. And, uh, the magical forest, just my luck, didn't spread to this one. That's still wasteland, so the modest queens are still good. I think that with the system I have here, I have the logistical sorter just going into dark blue and this one colored dark blue, and um, this one I'll color dark green and I'll send the Rockies to that, So just so that they go to the right bee box. But I think that when this is full of drones, then they should be sent to the interface as a secondary destination. So I'll just leave that idle, and eventually it'll fill up, and we'll see. Anyway, let's check our quest book for the next thing we need to do. Okay, wants us to make the apiarist armor. Some bees have effects around them. Like tropical bees, if you get too close to the... The apiary that's full of them, they will poison you. The bee suit prevents all bee effects. Wants us to make the hive essence, of course, and wants us to make this acclimatizer. The acclimatizer can be used to force a bee's uh, tolerances for temperature and other things to be wider and wider. So, that wants a reinforced casing. Well, how much is that going to cost? That's just... That's okay. That's easy. Rest of it I think I can do. You know what? Let's make a recipe for that. Oh boy. Yet again, I'm running out of molecular assembler space. But yeah, if I'm going to be making genetic genetics machines, I imagine I'm going to want a few of those.
Okay, lava bucket up top. Two of those down below. And I think the acclimatizer requires power, so I'll put it over here. I love that I can just auto-craft cables whenever I want. Yep, cables connect into it. It requires power. Okay, so yeah, that's a little bit complicated, but what you do is you you put a bee in here, and I think it has to be a princess, and you feed her things like dirt or lava buckets to increase her heat and dryness tolerance, and it's very, very slow, and it takes for freaking ever. Oh, silky combs. These silky combs will actually... Uh, they will give me the, hold on, I'll show you in a sec. Oops. These things will give me the silky propolis, which I can then run through the centrifuge again to get the silky wisp, which is what I'm gonna need for, uh, for the apiarist costume, as well as for a, for a few other things I want. Silky combs are normally dropped from certain species of bees. Most prominently, I believe, are jungle bees. Okay. Ah. So this is walking me through the genetics machines, which I've never really used before. Here, let's tell this to just send out parched combs on blank, and that'll fill up that interface. So, first it wants the incubator. Yep, I told you I would probably... I should probably make a reinforced casing recipe as well, so I'm going to need more molecular assemblers. Mm-hmm. That should last a little while. Now that that nothing one must be the centrifuge output. Yeah, I forgot to hide that. That's yeah, better. So let's see here. I was making an incubator, and for that I was gonna make the Casing. There we go. Yeah, and that's an incubator. So I have no idea what this thing does. I have not read up a lot on the genetics quests. Enzyme and growth medium. With incubators at your disposal create enzymes. You'll need to start with growth medium and incubate it with water to produce liquid growth medium. Okay. 
Okay. So it looks like we're going to need two incubators, actually. I guess I never had a reason to make a furnace recipe. Yeah, and I imagine these two machines are going to require power. So, this first incubator... It looks like all it needs is water, right? Let's test that out. Hmm. No valid recipe, okay. Okay, so... Oh, I see. So it's not made in there after all. I thought it I thought from what it was describing it would need Okay. So I just need to make this. Yeah, and that soups it up. Okay. Okay, so I should have that silky propolis all pro all processed. Yeah. Just going to put this on here. Yes. It can be used to make these letters, which again is just for multiplayer. And it can be used to make these silky wisps, and I think that the only other use is this general case of propolis. And that's it. So, really, the only thing we want is that silky wisp. Aha! So we have this liquid growth medium. So... Hopefully this machine will accept configuration. Yes, it do. down the second incubator right there and that's going to require even more sugar I could of course completely automate this but I'm not sure how much enzyme I am going to need okay um, oh incubating wheat Ah, okay. And that's going to produce another liquid, and I need another incubator. I gotcha. Yeah, see, that's producing this shimmery bacteria stuff. Ooh, goopy. And that goes with sugar, and it's going to need power. And that should eventually produce the enzymes. So at the base of this whole thing, 
the incubator, I think I'm just going to provide that with a quick infinite source of water. And in case you were wondering, yes, staves are still useful for poking things. The only thing they can't do is they can't be put in a crafting table. And yeah. There we are, ever full urn. I find these things more compact and convenient than setting up a build craft pump. They're pretty easy to build too. Okay, there we go. And so long as I occasionally provide it with the materials and needs, this should produce a steady stream of enzymes. Whatever enzymes are used for. Ah, good. This supply of silk wisp. This can be used to make string, but why would you want to? Because more importantly, can be used in a carpenter hmm, to make this woven silk. And this is what we want for all of our stuff. Yes. Now you see here that we only have enough to make three of it here. We are going to need tons of that silky stuff. It's to the point that, um, let's see, silky combs, silky combs. Well, more specifically, the silky propolis. That drops from silky combs, but let's see. These are dropped by malicious, infectious, viscous, yeah, virulent. You see that uh, it's produced by fairly nasty bees. 25%, 25%. Transmuting bees drop it quite a lot. Those wispy ones drop it a little bit, and they also drop just silk wisps. But I think those wispy ones are kind of hard to breed. What we really want are these tropical and... Yeah, tropical bees. That's probably going to be the easiest one to get. And I think we can get... Oh, I didn't put those silky wisps actually away. Let's just get that working. I think we can get those just from the tropical hives. Yeah. We can get a baseline population of them. Got a pristine princess, an ignoble princess, damn. Let me do a little bit of research. Look at that, nice big batch of enzymes. Okay. Hmm, gave me some alveary blocks. Alvearies are the super advanced bee machine, which I might put these tropical bees inside. Anyway, yes, I did a little bit of research, and the flower that I want for this ignoble drone is the hibiscus. See, it's a little bit complex, but this thing will take an ignoble bee and use a crap ton of mana and a lot of time, like two in-game days, to turn it into a pristine bee. So let's see, is this, I guess, oh, I see, it's used as a crafting ingredient for some things. But yes, this alveary requires this scented paneling, which is going to require liquid honey, for which I'm going to have to squeeze droplets of uh, those honey drops in a squeezer 
it's also going to require pollen clusters, which only these industrious bees drop. And that's a whole long breeding line. And you see how long it takes just for one bee generation. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit ridiculous. Yes, that all sorted correctly. Anyway, I'm going to make that hibiscus. Actually, I think there was another quest that gave me alveary blocks, wasn't there? Yeah, all these genetics quests are dropping alveary blocks. So is this apiarist thing, though. So I, I imagine that all these quests are only going to give me enough blocks for one alveary. And I imagine that, that uh, between it all, like... Okay, so I'm going to have to make these flowers. Let's try the Hyvacinth just to get us some more. Yeah, that's not terribly complicated at all. There we are, the Hyvacinth. Is that the quest? That's the quest. Of course, it also wants me to make the hibiscus and the begonia. Anyway, I think I'll just put this thing downstairs next to the Euclidaisy. Because there's already a hopper hawk there for dealing with its outputs. Yeah. I can actually kind of put that right here and it'll accept the redstone too so now I'm generating bees and and ethereal essence why isn't that begonia spark or that hyvacinth sparking it doesn't have mana There we go. Yeah, so you see it just generated this infernal drone. Ah, I, I guess it generates mostly drones and occasionally it generates princesses. Yeah, there's a forest princess, ignoble though. Still, we have ways of dealing with ignobility. Maybe I'll make this system a little bit better. Anyway, yes. I guess that... Well, these, these would all probably be bees that you find just in their hives. So, oh, do you remember this Book of Biomes Extended Edition that we made? Yeah. These pages that it's making... And in this case, I'm making uh, for jungle hills these are the catalyst of a level eight potion if i go into effects here level eight i realized i was being stupid and the picture is is the thing that you need yes you see this makes a brew of shifting seasons now it's a level eight effect so i'm going to need eight capacity so i'm going to need either another star and two of these ingredients or just four of these so I just chose Wart, Tear, and the two Diamonds. I have a Gunpowder for the Dispersal effect. And I have the Biome page for Jungle Hills. Just going to get on my Witch in Clothes. Oh, it actually looks fairly fancy with the cloak. Get me some Bottles. And let's go. So, doop, 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 doop. That's eight capacity, throwing potion, biome. 
Okay, why you know. It does require some altar power. Ah, I was a little bit worried about this. I think this can only be cast as a ritual. Hmm. No. Okay, let's take my magnet off. Okay, maybe maybe it's a bit stupid, and it needs the capacity ingredients to be thrown in order. Like, it needs all of them in order to understand. <sighs> I don't know. As far as I can tell, I'm doing everything correctly. I have enough altar power. It is just refusing to work. What? What? Uh, lucky piece of. There. Yeah, colored water is what you get if a brew does nothing. It just does nothing. Okay, so um, that failed. But yeah, if if that worked. That would have given me a potion I could throw to change the biome. Um, I don't know. I don't think I did anything wrong. Okay, well, there is another thing we can do. We have a Witching Gadgets device that should allow us to change the biomes around. The Thaumic Terraformer. It's a little bit of an infusion. Okay, here we go. Okay, now ain't this thing neat? This focus that will tell it to make the biome jungle is a very simple recipe. Yes, the only hard part was that jungle wood, which I had to... Um, I had to use the alchemic pool to get a jungle sapling. So, this thing is Essentia powered. And I believe the only place you can pipe in is from the bottom. Sir Reginald is a bit too strong. Yes, there it goes. And that is creaky creaky. I think all Essentia is. That should begin terraforming. Hmm. Does it maybe require a redstone signal? Ah, it needs Terra V, so I need to go and find a node to energize. So I'll just have that node, like, I don't know, right here. And I'll go and find that node. Oh, and I need the chunk load. And I'll go and find that node. Yeah, there we are. So I should just be able to zoop. Back home. 
Ah, there it was. I told you there was better ways of moving nodes around than, uh, than just jarring them. Okay. So first, you'll stabilize the node. Then you dupe. And then you dupe. And that will dupe it. Ah, look, the rocky bees have yielded the fruit. These rocky combs only produce the same stuff. Yep, kind of useless. Ah, look at this. So it's kind of poofing out smoke. Neat. Ah, yes, and you can see the the terrain starting to greenify into jungle. And it already went through all of that arbor. Stupid sun effect. Anyway, yeah, just built a small little melter for this thing. Feed it wood once in a while, and that should get the jungle to spread.